Well, no sooner have I finished my playlist that it's already getting an update. This is due to the Hall of Fame entries, okay? So basically, um, congratulations to Bernard Hopkins, Juan Manuel Marquez and Sugar Shane Mosley on joining the Hall of Fame. Um, this video is in three little sections. Um, the first section is an update because, like I said, my top 400 is going to be a growing thing. Now fighters are going to be added. Um, and that means that as fighters join the hall, the statistics and stats of many of the fighters in the top 400 will change, okay, um, every year as new members join the hall. So this is a little update. I won't do an update like this every time. I'm doing this update simply because I've just finished my list. The update next year, at the end of next year, will come naturally. It will be done behind the scenes as I prepare for my next enormous project, which is not a top 400 of all time. In fact, I'll talk about that on another video. So let's go through the rating changes due to the Hall of Fame edition. So these are the fighters who've been affected. Um, Young Griffo, who was in 204th place, um, has moved up to 200. Um, Jimmy Britt, who was in 276, has moved up to 272. George Kid Levine has gone from 185 and moved up 12 places to 173. While Terrible Terry McGovern has gone from 187 um, up to 186. George Dixon has gone from 42 um, up to 35. And the old master Joe Gans has gone from 30th place in my top 400 to 29. Timothy Bradley Desert Storm has gone from 284 to 281 and Juan Diaz okay he's also moved up two places going from 369 to 367 Marco Antonio Barrera has moved from 84th place he's gone up to 79th while Chris John has moved up eight places okay from 341st place to 333rd Manuel Medina has gone up at one place from 181 to 180 and Miguel Cotto okay was just outside the top 100 on 111th place has now moved up to 108 now Fernando Vargas okay was 362nd place he has moved up to 356 and Vernon Forrest has gained a boost okay he was 347th place um, but with the um, score changes he now moves to 337 and the Welsh fighter Joe Calzaghi the unbeaten Joe Calzaghi Zaggy. He also um, has moved up a number of places, being originally rated 197. He has now gone up to 191. Roy Jones Jr., okay, the superbly talented Roy Jones Jr., has gone from 43rd place to 37th place. Antonio Tavas moved up two places from 331st to 329th. And Simon Brown, okay, has gone from 303 and now fits just inside the top 300 at 299. Felix Tito Trinidad has moved up one place from 183 to 182. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has also moved up one place, okay, just jumping ahead of Evander Holyfield, going to 26th place from his previous position of 27th. And Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy, he was just outside the top 50, but De La Hoya now comes just inside the top 50 at 49th place, moving up from 52. And Ronald Winky Wright, okay, was rated 230th. He's moved up 12 places now, and is now positioned at 218th so with the hall of fame additions okay and the changes in the um, career score for these fighters who were affected they are their uh, placement changes now like I said when I created the 400 and the entire system for it it is an ever evolving thing now one thing that will change it are more hall of fame additions and the fighters who fought them whether wins losses you know title fight experience against them all these other things will change fighter scores so this top Breakdown will be a continual moving thing. As you can see there, a whole number of fighters um, have moved courtesy of the Hall of Fame additions. And at the end of next year, it will be a similar scenario. Now, as well as keeping this thing updated, which is actually not difficult, okay? It's not difficult at all. Um, also, I'm now in the position that I will now be adding fighters to it, okay? So, basically, from 402, where I am, it will go to 403 in a moment, okay? With the latest edition, new Hall of Famer Frank Ernie has now joined my top all-time fighter breakdown. Um, so, basically, what's going to be happening now is, okay, over the coming year, prior to the next Hall of Fame update at the end of next year, when other 
fighters will move. Some of the same fighters may move more. You know, it's all dependent on who joins the hall and how it changes the career information of the fighters already in there. Okay, so basically, as well as that, I have to now add more fighters in there um, and set a course towards 500. So that means more retired fighter videos on blue screens. It means growing those playlists a bit more. It means adding a few more fighters from the pre-rating era. I won't go too heavy on those. Um, it's a small era. There were less champions, less divisions. So I don't need to pile hordes of those out, but there will be new additions from the pre-rating era. There will be a whole dearth of new fighter career uh, videos, retired videos on blue screen for my playlists. As I now push from 400, where I was originally now 402, um, and now push towards 500. Okay, I'm going to push towards 500. I'm not going to charge it out. It's not my mission in life to get to 500 by the end of this year. I'm just going to do it naturally. I'm just going to do videos, upload them, retired fighter videos. Um, now, another thing as well as heading towards 500 from where I am now is pre-rating era fighters will now get their own little video. It will be an intro slide. And then the slide from this video, like here for Frank Ernie, okay, the latest addition to my top 400 plus countdown. Now, Frank Ernie, okay, beat three world champions in his career and he had 12 fights against world champions overall. And Frank Ernie fought 141 rounds against champions. Now, Frank Ernie beat three individual Hall of Fame fighters in his career and had nine fights against Hall of Fame opponents. And he fought a total of 115 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, Frank Ernie did have seven world title fights. He also made two title defences. And Frank Ernie came in with a total of 94 title fight rounds. And in terms of fights against champions and Hall of Famers, Frank Ernie comes in with a total of 12 fights against champions and Hall of Famers. His longest, okay, with the E missing, his longest unbeaten run was an unbeaten run of 29 fights. And Frank Ernie won one world title. So Frank Ernie is the latest fighter to join my 400 plus automated scoring career list okay so basically frank ernie based on his career he comes in at number 186 i already have another pre-rating era fighter okay fireman jim flynn but like i said every fighter now from pre-rating era should have done something like this from the start we'll get a little video like this okay just an intro video and then this basic breakdown so anyone who looks at that can compare any information on there from the bit more basic stats i'll put on there compare him to other fighters but I will show each of these guys like when I had Jack Dempsey, the non-pareil and other fighters from the pre-rating era to my all-time um, database score list. They will get a little video, okay? They'll get a little video. So now let me leave there my latest addition to my 400 plus list right there with Frank Ernie. You've had the update. Now let's jump on to the information regarding Manny Pacquiao. Now, as we know, Manny Pacquiao, um, prior to the new Hall of Fame entries, um, is basic um, Hall of Fame record stood at six fights in total with five wins and one loss. Okay, the loss to Morales, 56 rounds fought, and Pacquiao had beaten three Hall of Fame fighters. Now, the Hall of Fame additions this year caused a dramatic change in Manny Pacquiao's Hall of Fame record. Okay, his new Hall of Fame record stands at 11 fights. Now, he's into double figures against Hall of Famers. Pacquiao's Hall of Fame record at the moment stands at eight win, two loss, one draw. There's still Floyd, there's still potentially Cotto, there's still potentially more fighters to add on. There. So this has been a big surge, okay, with Mosley and Marquez. Pacquiao has now fought over 100 rounds against Hall of Famers, coming in at 110. And Manny Pacquiao has jumped from beating three Hall of Famers, you know, De La Hoya, um, Barrera and Morales. He's now out of Mosley and Marquez. Manny Pacquiao has now beaten five individual Hall of Famers. Now, as people know, when I did... Um, when I've been doing my modern active fighter list, um, I did a breakdown and said Manny Pacquiao is in... Uh, he was in 6th place, then he jumped to 4th place ahead of Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. And then I said, if he keeps going, okay, depending on how it goes, with all of fame and certain other active elements, okay, Pacquiao may push Bernard Hopkins as a top-rated fighter in my modern automated career scores. Well, actually, the top 40 at last 40 years previous entry listed Pacquiao at 4th, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather at 3rd, Evander Holyfield okay, at second, and Bernard Hopkins at first. But it's been a while since I've did that, okay, and a lot of these fighters' career scores have changed. So the new updated as of now, okay, before Pacquiao 
um, fights again. As of now, Evander Holyfield is in fourth because, as we saw in the update, Floyd Mayweather jumped up from 27 to 26, knocking Holyfield to 27. But in the modern era, last 40 year fighters, Holyfield was third. Floyd Mayweather jumps there, okay, courtesy of his wins over Marquez and Mosley, etc. Um, Floyd Mayweather jumps to third. Bernard Hopkins is now in second because with the Hall of Fame additions and the criteria all around that, the quite a number of criteria around that that changed Pacquiao's career score. I just thought, finishing my 400 plus breakdown, I thought it'd be interesting just to announce that Manny Pacquiao indeed now has overtaken Bernard Hopkins. When I did this probably a year ago, I said, yeah, he's fourth or third, he may push Hopkins. Manny Pacquiao now has overtaken Bernard Hopkins. So in my last 40 year ratings, the number one fighter of the last 40 years in my automated scoring is now Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Now where Pacquiao will rate in my top 400 plus ratings, that will be decided when he retires, okay? Because there's certain retired elements that come into play, okay? but that is where Pacquiao is at the moment. Pacquiao was inside the top 10 around 6th. He's pushed up to 4th. He's now pushed up to number 1. So now in my automated systems, the greatest fighter in the last 40 years is now Manny Pacman. Pacquiao has finally overtaken Holyfield, Floyd, Hopkins, Chavez Sr. and Manny Pacquiao currently in my last 40 year rating sits at number 1. And he's an all-conquering all conquering Adonis in this score because the closest fighter to him in second place in my modern active fighters is Canelo Alvarez and he's like over a thousand points behind him and just to give you an idea that is more than a Vitaly Klitschko career added to Canelo's career <laughs> equivalent don't quite work that way but that's just to give you an example so congratulations to Manny Pacquiao on his ever growing number of Hall of Famers beat and his ever growing impressive Hall of Fame record and the fact now that Pacquiao has come number one in my last 40 year ratings he is top dog there's my update video I'll be back soon with more videos I am out